things that I don't have in my shop that I think could be really useful is an awl. It's got a really, really sharp pointy end on it. It works great for starting uh, like screws or drill bits and things like that. Even a little bit of marking, they're really useful and people used to use them on ice and stuff like that but i think in a shop it can be really useful tonight i'm gonna go ahead and make one using some laminated wood on the lathe and an allen key so the first thing that we're going to be doing just like on any other lathe project is finding the center point for each end and i'm just using a speed square nothing fancy about this you don't have to be using like hundred dollar machines or anything like that just eyeball it up mark your spots because we're going to end up turning this into a cylinder so as long as you have it somewhat close it's not going to really matter I went ahead and sharpened all my lathe tools just so that they were all ready and I hope that I sharpened them right I need uh, more practice on that, but so now I got my X's. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. All right, so here it is, all in the lathe. I'm starting with it as a square shape. I could have probably cut down these corners and we'll move quicker, but regardless, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it like this. And I'm gonna end up getting two handles out of this piece of wood, and then use two Allen keys and make two awls out of this. So I've gotten the whole entire thing rounded now and I've made my marks for how I want the handle to be. I want the start of the handle or the very top to be right here. I'm going to have this be a little thicker part to really put into your palm of your hand. And then it's going to have a two inch taper down to where it's going to be holding the Allen key. And I made my marks on this side as well for the second one. So this piece right here will be all just kind of waste and I'll get two handles out of this one little section. Alright, so we've got the basic shape now that I think I want for the handles and I've used the parting tool to really clean up the very end where the um, Allen key is going to go. So uh, now I'm just going to use some sandpaper and really smooth this out and then get this cut off of all these different pieces. So I've got roughly five coats of lacquer on the handle for the awl and I went ahead and grabbed my Allen key. You can do all sorts of different sizes if you want. The reason why I'm doing an Allen key is because of the shape of it. It's not round so I won't really have to epoxy anything in. I can just make the hole a little bit smaller and then hammer this in. You can use drill bits like the longer ones, you can use shorter ones and if you use all the same size you can actually just interchange them if you need to work on something shorter you can use a shorter tip or if you have to get quite a bit of reach with your awl you put in like a longer drill bit so that's one of the advantages of using the hexagon shape handle for 
your bits. The easiest way to find out what size drill bit you need to drill your hole is just by matching it up. I've got this case right here so I was able just to go size to size and the 764 bit looks like it's smaller than this Allen key so I'm going to use it. I don't want to use a drill bit too big or else that will make the hole too big and defeat the purpose of having that nice fit because I'll end up cutting it and then hammering it into the hole. So I ended up having to go two sizes bigger than what I originally started with and I can start getting it in there right now. So what I'm going to do is just use a hammer. I'm just going to tap it in there. After it is seated as far as you want, I find a block and just a hacksaw. I'm going just below where the bend is. I'm just going to cut this little extra piece off. After you get the tip cut off, you have a pretty rough edge that you have to get filed down. You can either use a hand file, but I'm going to go ahead and get the grinder out grind off a tip and I've got some water right here that way I can grind a little bit and then put it in the water that way I don't overheat the tip and ruin the hardness of the Allen key. So you can either just leave it after you've ground it down or I went up and did a 220 and then went up to 400 grit sandpaper and just really kind of polished up that tip and the heat's been kept down on it so it's still got the hardness uh, that the original steel was. So now you can always just test it out and just make a couple little points on it so it works great in the long grain. Works great in the end grain. Thanks for joining me guys today and making some little awls. These things are going to be great around here in the shop. I've got two of them and I'll be able to keep one in my hand tool case and then one on a bench. And if I ever lose one, I have a spear. If you guys would go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and share it around on all the social media as always. I appreciate you guys viewing and watching and always love comments. I'll see you guys later.